Now that you're familiar with KPR's main D2L Brightspace page, we can go explore a course. I'm going to click on the waffle and choose the appropriate class. And from here we have several areas to cover. The navigation bar may appear different than this depending on the course as the teacher has the ability to customize it. But there should be some fundamental icons that we'll explore later that you should be able to see in every course. The news feed or announcements will often contain daily information, work to do, and may also contain links to content, assignments, and assessments. The work to do widget will show any work that is overdue or that is coming up within a two week period. The calendar can also show any upcoming events. The teacher also has the ability to customize the widgets and the appearance of this main page. Although these are three of the fundamental widgets that should be there, they may be in different locations or other widgets may be available as well. From the navigation bar, the course home will always bring you back to the main page. The content button will show you a list of units, lessons, and any content that they have posted. This can be displayed in kind of a linear fashion to work through, but can also be accessed in the news feed if the teacher has linked it through there. The student work group has our assignment, discussion, quizzes, and checklist buttons. By clicking on any of these, you will see all the available assessments within that category. This shows all the available assignments and any due dates that have list, been listed, as well as whether you've handed it in or not. This is a great place to go to check just to make sure that you're caught up on all the work. Student Tools has an array of different tools that you may need to access for the course. Google Drive and Office 365 are resources available to KPR students or students with a KPR username and login. The Communications tab, you can access email. This is the, will take you to the same link as the envelope button on the top right. The class lists, any groupings that you have, and if the teacher is using a virtual classroom within D2L, it can be accessed here as well. The Student Progress button can display grades on any assessments that have been returned. You can see any overall feedback as well as the mark that you've received. If you wish to see how you're progressing in the class, you can click Class Progress and it will show you based on the tabs that you've clicked which areas you have contributed to and anything that is outstanding. To return back to the main screen, I'll just go back to the course homepage again, and you'll see it once again I'm at the start of the class. Just as a reminder, assignments, discussions, and quizzes can be accessed through the individual buttons, or they may also appear as direct links in the news feed or direct links within the content itself.